Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art, and I wanted to show you really quickly how you can uh, build eLearning conversations using simple gradient fills uh, with just uh, shapes where you just create a rectangle, you add some gradient, um, and it creates this perspective of you'll see you look at this conversation over here, it's darker on the right and lighter over here, and then when it switches, it's darker on the left and lighter, and when it's uh, an equal view, uh, there is no gradient, it's just straight across there. Um, now, there's some really good ways you can set this up so it's flexible, and I want to walk you through that. So, you know, you can do this quicker um, on your own, but let me just show you kind of what I think is the best practice. So, um, I, I like to work in the Slide Masters, and if you're not familiar with the Slide Masters, you should uh, watch my other lesson that shows you how to deal with the slide masters but by dealing with the slide masters you now you're able to quickly um, just pick your layouts right from within um, the new slide or the the, uh, the layout view and, and be able to change things that allows you to um, to one be able to build your new scenes very easily um, and then also um, you know you don't you'll, you'll see that this uh, 3l means the L is the left is darker the C is the center, it's the same, and the R, the, the right, is darker. I had to zoom in, and you know, it's exactly the same. You wouldn't, you could cut this down to five slides instead of the eight that I have, but by keeping the same structure as the other templates that I built, you could you know, go into the slide master and swap these out for, for photos or something else, um, or one of the other methods that I use, and it'll flow through your entire, entire template. So I recommend doing that. But um, Let's just go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing in the slide masters here. So view slide master, you go on any one of these, and um, you know one of the best practices that I've followed here is um, I like to keep these other boxes here. So that I, I work with the default color schemes um, within the slide masters. You'll just see that here under edit theme, but you'll see if I grab this colors here and I walk through, you'll see how those colors just change. Um, well, this template you'll see I've named it gradient 5 is pulling from the fifth um, the fifth color in this color pattern you know one two oops sorry uh, there we go one two three four five and, um, and you'll see as I as I'm changing it there you know it wants to change colors oops I didn't mean to do that let me undo that um, but uh, I do that on each of the slides and I copy the gradient so that it's there but by doing that um, I could simply uh, just if I did uh, control shift C and then control shift V I would have that new color scheme built in there so I just go to each of those slides and do that that same thing and it'll flow through the whole template um, so that's if I want to change within the uh, the, the theme that I have um, or selecting an entirely new theme will bring in a whole new set of colors but uh, that really allows you to maintain flexibility within it. Um, now let me just show you how I, I did these um, these gradients. So if we go to Format Shape, um, <clears throat> I, I just worked with a simple gradient scheme. You can do whatever you want. But the fill, I made it a gradient fill. And then I have these three different color st stops. And the center stop, what I did is I selected the color, the main color. And then um, for the lighter version, you see I went uh, I went to this uh, accent five, lighter 60%, and then the darker one, um, I, I went to the darkest uh, view there. And I did that for, for all of these uh, all the way through, so they're all the same, and it's easy to, to swap out and change colors. But this is just a, this is just a shape. It's just a simple shape. So I, I can totally scale this thing up, no problem. And you know, to create that initially, you just go to Insert Shape, and you can just draw a rectangle. Let's just quickly format this. We're going to go to Gradient Fill, and uh, I defaulted to what I had, but let's just create our own new one. Let's say I wanted to do it on the, the Gradient 6. I would choose uh, the middle. I'm going to work from this, and then I want to do a lighter version. So I would do that, and then the darker version, I'm going to do the darkest one. And you know that was the way that I approached my scheme. Let's get rid of the uh, line color, but you'll see I already had that one here, so if I went Control Shift C, I could just Control Shift V over there, and there we go. Let's uh, undo that, delete this, and uh, let's close out of the the Slide Master view, and just show you quickly. Watch what happens now within five there. If I go to Design and I go to Colors, and uh, let's say I choose Flow, that fifth color is going to be that green one. I hit it. Boom! It flows through the entire thing. So you know this this te template is really flexible and easy to create. So I uh, hope you found that useful. Thanks so much for your time.